CL. Well, from one uh, set of corporate earnings to another, Jindal So as well came out with its numbers and it was a pretty decent set. Yes, the margins remained subdued, uh, but overall, I think um, the revenues were pretty A-OK. 10.6% uh, higher for the revenue profit after tax was higher by 43%. So let's understand then uh, from Mr. Neeraj Kumar. He's the Group C and whole-time director of uh, Jindal So. Uh, Mr. Kumar, thank you for joining us on ET now. Um, let you know it's a decent 11% uh, top line growth so let's talk about first the average realizations how did that shape up for jindal saw in the first quarter versus uh, the corresponding quarter how did it contribute to your top line this quarter again uh, we have shown a consistent improvement and uh, the improvement in the top line is largely on account of uh, better realization on the pellet prices the steel uh, pipe prices have been more or less consistent, but uh, there is a tailwind which has helped the pellet price push up, uh, which has uh, largely contributed to the Q1 uh, good performance. Okay, your margins have remained subdued. So what's weighing in on the margins and are there any input cost pressures that you are uh, facing? Uh, largely it is input costs because if you see the steel prices have also firmed up but uh, in terms of EBITDA if you see there has been a, uh, I won't say a significant but a noticeable improvement. Uh, this quarter we have shown an EBITDA of uh, 403 crores. Uh, at a PAT level if you see because of the financial uh, charges the profit is more pronounced. It's about 50% growth on the profit for the quarter. Okay, uh, you know with the slowdown in most of your sectors plus elections in this quarter, has it impacted your order execution and also how has demand been? In Jindal Saw, we always believe in a very diversified uh, business portfolio and we also have a healthy order book. So you are right when you say that there has been a little slowdown in the economy in general but it did not impact uh, Jindal saw or the impact was minimized because we had a uh, healthy order book at present also we have an order book in excess of a billion dollars so we have a clear visibility of how the next few quarters are going to pan out and we hope that we would be able to benefit from some of the schemes of government in particular the Jal Shakti scheme where now the government is committed to take water to every home uh, that should give us a healthy demand uh, for our most of the segments in terms of DI pipes. Now we even have HDP pipes within our portfolio. So we believe that uh, that should really uh, give us enough momentum to close the year on a healthy growth. Okay, uh, what about exports business? I mean, how did that do and what percentage of your revenues is from, you know, exports? Uh, exports typically for Jindal saw always ranges between uh, 20 to 40 percent depending on the export versus domestic uh, situation. At present we are at around 28-29 percent and uh, we hope to maintain that trend because the domestic uh, demand at this point of time in the water sector is robust. Uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Kumar, I must also ask you about the entire U.S.-China trade friction. Um, are you worried about it impacting your orders in any way? Not in Jindal Saw, because Jindal Saw, uh, we are focused largely on the domestic market. And then uh, we look at GCC, Europe. So U.S., uh, we do not export much. And therefore, as well as China, we don't uh, sell our products either in U.S. or in China. So that trade war is not impacting us directly. Okay, what about FY20? I mean, what can we watch out for from Jindal? So any uh, volume or sales targets that you may have across all your segments? As I said, we have an order book of uh, more than a billion dollars. That gives us enough visibility. Uh, we also are encouraged with the kind of uh, projects which are in the pipeline. So we hope to close this year uh, over a healthy growth over the last year performance, which has been a growth uh, trajectory. So Jindal saw, if you look at in the last few years, 
we are on a healthy growth trajectory and we want to continue and we wish to uh, continue the momentum. Okay, Mr. Kumar, thanks so much uh, for joining us then on ET Now and helping us understand what went by for the company in the first quarter. Remember, of course, uh